Welcome to the Dangerous Grounds Network, the number one online radio network in the world. 100% American Badass. Sponsored by Madison Rising. King's Hollow. Redcon One Music Group. The Veteran Exchange. Combat Flip Flops. Branded Warriors Inc. Let's get dangerous. Coming to you live from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the Dangerous Grounds Network presents the number one morning show in America. It's a 3% morning show with your host, Sergeant Big Country. Now put on that PT belt, wash your cocks and change your socks, and get ready to stroke this freedom boner. Let's get dangerous. Bitch, I operate We might be crazy We might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey And now here we come And we're riding dirty This might be fake Three words for your face Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate Chilling at the rain, fire rate sustain Lead showers when I make it rain Sea clamp like a motherfucking boss hog Got more packages than you, I'm a damn dog Two in the morning, doing CQB Tiptoeing down the hallway Shh, my wife might hear me Got my Instagram game on lock Especially with gun bunnies be drooling on my cock Got the whole crew like We the best When I drop loads, <laughs> they're always suppressed People say, haters gonna hate I'm just like, bitch, I'm off of rape We might be crazy, we might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey, and now here we come And we're riding dirty, this might be fake Three words for your face Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate Wait, 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 what the fuck does operate even mean? What's up, DG Nation? Welcome to your Saturday episode of the 3% or Morning Show, where half of you are probably just rolling out of bed, like Sissy is. <laughs> you already told me. I had to throw it out there, just saying. <laughs> oh, God, good morning. I hope everybody's had a good weekend so far, or at least one day of it, or one night, should we say. Uh, Freedom Friday, hope everybody had a nice, uh, <laughs> hope everybody had a nice Friday night. Hopefully you're not too hungover. Ron, sorry about the storm, man. I was just talking to Sissy about that. That came up from up through fucking Louisiana up there towards you, man. Y'all y'all got a nasty front that just came through, man. That fucking sucks, dude. Sorry, man. <laughs> Yo, damn. So, what's everybody up to this morning? If you listen to the show already, which is quite a few people, uh, hit damn fucking t- uh Title of the show, man. Come into the chat group. Fucking hang out with us and shit. Ron always needs some company in here that he can pick on. Just saying. I mean, he does. He likes to fuck with people. He likes to mess with our heads. Don't you, Ron? (laughs) 
Yeah, that's the whole point of not being FCC regulated. Just be able to say, the fuck, what the fuck you want to. I'm just saying. <laughs> it came from the frostbacks up north. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it still fucking sucks, man. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. Like, Ohio and Indiana and places like that are still getting fucking snow and shit right now. It's not really doing anything in New York City. And it's like, you come down here and it's like, boom. <laughs> it's like fucking 70 to 80 degrees. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably top out at like 50, 55, you know, or bottom out at 50, 55. But yeah, the weather's good here. <laughs> Bring your ass home. So I figured I'd start off with this. Uh, I'm kind of liking this guy from this high impact films. Uh, he's uh, he's really got a lot of a lot of good stuff, actually. Uh, I played one of his clips the other day. I just like... Uh, I, I like listening to the guy because he, uh, he, he's really got some good points. He makes some good points on different subjects. Uh, take, take a listen. You might recognize this guy from the other day. Magnificent. But then it reminds me of kind of like a Catholic church. You look around and you see all the gold and the tapestry and the stonework, and you're like, where the heck did they get all the money to do that right there? And then you think, oh, yeah, that's right. It's all the people they're plundering while they say that they're working for your freedom. Nice touch. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, give it a thumbs up, and share it with everybody you know. Mr. McCartney? Hi there, we're with CNN. Can we just get a quick question for you? Mr. Uh, just give us a sense of why it was important for you to come out here today. Uh, just to support the people. Yeah. What, do you hope can, what do you hope can be accomplished? Do you think that can happen at the legislative level? We've seen it happen at the state level in places like Florida and here in New York. You know, I'm like everyone. I don't know. But th this is what we can do. And uh, so I'm here to do it. Um, one of my best friends was killed in gun violence right around here. So uh, it's important to me. Understood. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you were a teacher in school and a gunman was coming down your hall and your room was next, would you, wouldn't you want to be armed? I would make the first exit out of the building. Rather than engage that shooter head on, head on, because he's fully expecting to die. I want to get out of that situation. Well, what if you couldn't? I'll throw a chair through a window. I'll smash my way out of there. I will get out of the building and not be corralled by that. Right, man. but what if you and the kids I think couldn't? That hardening the walls is a stupid solution. I think putting lines on the floor, not from the from the perspective from the window and the door, is a stupid solution. Well, the you point is, to keep the guns away. Yeah, most Don't people put more in. Most people couldn't get out of the classroom fast enough. So, would you rather be armed with a, a gun or a chair or a desk or what? You know what? I would rather take my chances with, with my wits and what I have about me than put more guns in the school. What the hell did you just say? If you were going to craft a law, if you could snap your fingers and craft a law, what would it look like? What would it say? What would be banned? All that. Any type of repeating rifles or additions to guns to make them shoot more rapidly. Okay, so would that, that would include uh, um, semi-automatics, high-capacity yeah, magazines? 15s and so forth. Okay, <laughs> so what would you say to the people, the millions of people out there who already own AR-15s? Would you say, hey, you got to turn your guns in, basically? Yeah, I wouldn't have any problem saying that. They're just not appropriate for a home environment or a and, community. And let's say their answer to you is, well, hey, look, I'm a peaceful person. I just want to be left alone. I've never hurt anybody with it. I don't plan on hurting anybody. What would you say? I would say we could talk about maybe keeping those guns locked up at a shooting range and they could go to the shooting range, unlock it, use it, and lock it back up when they are ready to go. Do you Are you for gun control? Yeah. Who should control the guns? Who should control the guns? Probably the government. Do you trust the government? No. You don't trust the government, but you want them to control the guns? Other than banning guns, what, what else would you like to see changed? If you could snap your fingers, for, for example, and, and create a law, what would it look like? What would it say? Uh, well, I would create a law just, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's a difficult question. Would you limit high-capacity magazines or, or get rid of them altogether? High-capacity magazines? Yeah. Oh, you mean for guns? Yeah. If we come together and vote for good politicians or politicians who care, then something will get done. Can you name one point in history where politicians have actually listened to the people? Hmm. 
The one fact that you know is that when guns are there, people get killed by guns. When guns are not there, people don't get killed by guns. Do governments take us to wars? Do governments take us to wars? Yeah. Do they steal our money? Like taxes? Um, I guess, yeah. Do they waste our money? Mm, sometimes. How about all the time? We're $21 trillion in debt. We're in a situation of transgenerational debt slavery where four generations of people won't be able to pay off the debt. So we know they waste our money, we know they take us off to war, and we know they can't be trusted. So why would you want politicians, you know, honest question, fair question, why would you want politicians and government officials to control the guns? And what do you think criminals think about further gun regulations and restrictions? Um, I, well, if it's actual criminals, I think they will do their best to work their way around any law that we put in. Um, but I think that the harder we can make the accessibility, the more worth of it. You know, that's what we should be doing. You have all these rules, and you think they'll save you. Are there any weapons in your house? No. Okay. Uh, do you guys have knives in your house? I mean, there are knives, which are weapons, but we don't have any guns in our house. Okay. Um, are you guys for an assault weapons ban? Sorry? Are you for an assault weapons ban? Yes. Yes. You guys all are? Yeah. Now, what, how would you guys define assault weapons? Because we've heard the term assault weapons a lot in the news. How do you guys define that? I mean, anything that... I'd say military-grade weapons. Yeah. You know, like stuff that can... There's like... I read a definition for it, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, it's like if it can fire a certain number of rounds within a minute. I can't remember what the number is. It's a, I know it's a pretty high number. Since 1950, <laughs> I just had to I had to play that for a few minutes. That's it's, it's just it's just funny to watch these people that are so called they know what they're talking about. You know, it's it's just it's just kind of funny. Yeah, and I and I played this song for all the fucking left side liberal fucking retards. <laughs> Boy, free. 